All right, bro. So, these are the eight stages of being high. The first ones, you know, you're all fucking psych. Sorry for blasting out your fucking baked ass ears, but I need to tell you something. So if you're like me, who's very lonely, then you may have caught glimpse of these YouTube channels that have very similar thumbnails and titles. Matter of fact, you might be tricked into thinking that these are all one channel, but in reality, it's actually just many, many animation slash story time channels that operate under the same genre. This could range from weed, alcohol, shrooms, LSD, fucking cookies, who get, who fucking cares? You get the idea, it's just channels that are among that nature, and let's just get started with the first channel because they've been propping up everywhere and it just has got me curious, so let's, let's take a deep dive real quick. Mostly true. So I'm sure the channel that most of you associate with this genre is the channel called Mostly True. And also, as far as I know, was the first channel to really embrace this style of content. He's also one of the largest channels of this genre as well, with 820k subscribers. He also made his channel very recently in YouTube standards, that being May 14th, 2021. And his first video was uploaded on October 13th of 2021, which just goes to show how quickly these type of channels can grow. I think what people like about his channel is that he styles it as if he's speaking to himself and you, the audience member, are just listening in on his nonsensical conversations. His largest video by far is the 7 Levels of High which has 17 million views. Now if you're expecting every single one of these channels to have numbers like that, then you'd be mistaken. Not a single other video from any other channel that I'll be mentioning will even get close to the amount of views that that video has gotten. I think I said just about anything you really need to say about this channel. It ain't groundbreaking, but it isn't awful either. It's a good video to play in the background, or just when you're stoned. And also it's the first of its kind, so you have to give props to it. Up next we got Chains For Real. His channel was made in July of 2022, and his first video was made four days later after making his channel. So it's safe to assume that he saw the success of Mostly True and ran with it. And this isn't me just harshly accusing him of something. I mean, he literally states it in his first video. So I don't have to waffle too much about his channel, as it's virtually a carbon copy of the channel Mostly True. I guess the other thing to note is that he actually got bigger than the channel that he was inspired by. As you can see, he has 904 subs as the time of me recording, whereas Mostly True only has 820k subs. So honestly, if I was the guy who ran Mostly True, I'd be fucking pissed. But it is what it is, man. Next up is Lone E. His channel was made in May of 2020. Although he states that he officially started trying in October 8th of 2022. Well, cool beans, buddy. You still have two videos that you made before that date, so let's take a look at those. So his earliest upload is Six Stages of High, which was made in September of 2022. And the video is exactly what you would expect from it. Although the interesting part is the description where he says that he was inspired by the aforementioned channel Chains For Real and another channel called Face Of Youth. So I guess here's another channel that we're going to look at now. Face of the Youth. The Face of Youth channel and first video were both made on August 5th of 2022. His channel is actually very small compared to the other three channels that I've mentioned, with only 9.6 thousand subscribers. And with the whole genre of these videos, you can tell that part of the aesthetic is that they're uh, sort of obviously low effort. But the Face of Youth takes low effort to a different degree. At least in the visuals department. Almost all the frames are hand drawn, which I can respect, but he's evidently not good at drawing. And also they're not even animated, so you just have to stare at these images he made in Paint 3D while he's waffling about doobies. Now most sane people would end it here, but as I was doing my research on these channels, you two recognized that I was watching these channels and would start feeding me more and more and more. So let's hopefully quickly go through these other channels and see if there's anything interesting about them. Nin Ye. This was the first channel that was being recommended to me after I jumped into the rabbit hole of all these cookie cutter channels. 
It was made in 2013, but hasn't started the cookie cut minimalist style until August of 2022, in which all of his content is now of that nature. Before he made this type of content, he did video game commentaries, especially on Final Smash, and but also did some anime reviews as well, so basically just a nerd who started going green. Split. I doubt that's how you pronounce it, but who gives a fuck? He has 50k subs, he made his channel in 2022, his first video was also in 2022, what a shocker. He's dabbled into vlogging, uh, and he also posts music under the moniker 12 and it's... It's okay, I mean it's not like ear bleedingly awful, but it's not great. That's about all I had to say about Split, or 12 of or whatever he wants to be called. Let's move on to the next one. Phoenix Colors. His channel and first vid were both made in February of 2021, which is actually way earlier than most of the channels that I've been talking about, including the cookie cutter Jesus himself, mostly true. He actually has better visuals than most of the channels that I've been talking about, um, and they are semi-animated as to just, like, still images that have kind of just been clipped through. Which I can appreciate, but other than that, his content is still pretty run-of-the-mill, unfortunately. Which may explain how small his channel is, as he only has 17k subscribers. Or it could be that as of late, he hasn't been posting these style of videos. He actually has also dabbled into music making, and it's... Where the place I've grown. Ugh. It's even worse than the last one. Sorry. Nothing else to really say other than he made a mukbang, uh, which is like those eating videos. Uh, but it got low views, so. Next! XO0. Made his channel in August, and his first video is in August. What a shocker. Very bog standard. All the vids are exactly what you would expect. Moving on. That's all you're getting out of me. Next! Bro, what? First vid and channel were made in 2022. In the same month. Wow, fucking surprise! Actually, let me not be too much of an asshole with this one. Out of all the ones that I've looked at, this one has the most character. Um, his narration is better. Uh, he's more well-spoken and sounds less, you know, baked all the time. And, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but like... His thumbnails look more, um, they look more Japanese. I don't know how to explain it, but, like, they look Japanese. He's gone more outside the box recently, and in one of the videos, he actually stated that he was doing that on purpose. But, unfortunately, it's made his views go down. What a shame, but that's the harsh YouTube game. And with that being said, next, it's CBD Bro channel made in 2021 but didn't make his first video in 2022 pretty run-of-the-mill box standard nothing much else to say fuck you next birdie basically like all the other ones but sometimes uses gifs instead of drawings annoying voice his persona is a shitty drawn bird that's all that you need to know next riz x his channel was made and I can't fucking do this anymore. I'm so fucking annoyed with checking out these shitty channels. Next! There's nothing to say! So, what is to take from all this? Well, YouTube has had story time videos for a long time, whether it be The Odd Ones Out or Jane Animations, and even some channels before that have been doing animated story times for a long time. No channel that I'm aware of before these guys did story time animations purely based on just weed and other drugs alone. But a channel that I do remember from back in the day that uh, would talk about, you know, weed frequently was Luna uh, during like the Leafy is Here phase where it was commentary that was put over like unrelated gameplay footage. So it's almost as if these channels are like the combined product of the old school animation styles like Swoozy and Odds Ones Out, but the topics were more similar to 
the topics that were being talked about during the old school Leafy is Here days, uh, except instead of unrelated gameplay footage, it was, you know, simplistic, drawn, cookie cut style animations. You know, get it? Because weed and cookie and also cookie cut because they follow the same format. I thought it was pretty good. If you don't think it's good, well, fuck you. I mean, just leave the channel, then fuck you. And let me address this, too, because I'm also aware on the fact that a lot of criticisms that I had with those channels could also be said about my very own channel on how, like, oh, they're not animations, they're just still images. That's basically what I do. But I think, I mean, I'm obviously going to cut myself some slack because I am not someone who has, like, editing capabilities. I edit all these videos on my phone, and I just scroll through the slides on Google Slides. That's no joke what I do. But I know full well that these channels actually have editing equipment, and there's no way that they don't have the time to learn animations. So it is a bit upsetting to see that I see these people who have obvious editing capabilities, but are purposely trying to look simplistic just to catch the trend. If anything, it should be inspirational to you and to me that these channels uh, with little to no originality are getting popular and surely are making money off of these. So if you're kind of down in the dumps right now, maybe just grab a blunt and start talking some shit and poorly draw things. There you go. That could be a legitimate career or like, you know, a stepping stone. You don't know whatever is going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. Who fucking knows, man? I'm a man without a plan. Bars. Toodaloo, assholes. See you next time.